Good morning guys, I have decided to vlog today, it's just a normal day but I'm going to take you along with me and see what we get up to. Charlie's having a scratch, Ziva's panting, it's a beautiful sunny day, so I'm going to take Charlie for his walk now, see you in a bit. I'm just walking Charlie and even though it's sunny, it's still quite frosty, you can see the frost all around the grass. We're now just going to go to his favourite field where he likes to run around and then we will continue around the reservoir. Look how frosty it is here. It looks like it's been snowing but it hasn't. All of the grass has just gone really crispy. There is a person with another dog over there, so I can't let Charlie off the lead. Um, also, if you're wondering why we don't walk both of the dogs together, we don't do that because they are very badly behaved when they're together. They have this real pack mentality and they get up to loads of naughty stuff. So it's just easier to walk them separately at the moment. They are having training, but we don't know if that is actually going to be that fruitful. We went to the reservoir now and I'm just so impressed by how sunny it is. The weather has been really cold recently but the past couple of days we've had this really wonderful winter sun and it has made everything look so much more beautiful. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but the Swan family have graced us with their presence. Their, um, their signets are actually quite old now. They're almost yearlings, but um, the parents are still very overprotective and they are hissing at us. There they are. Here you go, a better view of the swans coming to hiss at us so funny. They really hate Charlie. They just really don't want the look of us at all. So we're going to go now. Otherwise Charlie's going to get into a fight with a swan and that would not be very good. Okay, let's go. They're all coming behind us. <laughs> So I'm back from taking Charlie for a walk now and I was going to show you my dog walking outfit until Ziva came and stood in front of me. Isn't she cute? Very cute. The cutest in the whole wide world. Yes. Yes you are. So I'm just going to do a quick dog walking outfit of the day in the mirror. Hopefully you can see the light's a bit funny right now. So my shoes, there you are. My walking boots are from high tech. My leggings are from Mondetta and I got them from TK Maxx. They have this um, 
kind of textured fabric here and they have a really big pocket down the side which is really useful and they're quite warm but not too warm so you can wear them almost all year round my jacket is from musto it is waterproof and it's warm and it has one of these um hoods that you can kind of adjust to make it fit your head my jumper um is just a black jumper with a mesh section here and that's from h&m and my t-shirt with this kind of geometric um floral print thing is from Topshop and my glasses are Balmain. I don't really remember what style this is but I will try and find them if they're still available and put them in the description bar. And I think that's it. So now I'm going to get on with my unbelievably large pile of orders. Uh, yesterday was Cyber Monday, before that it was Cyber Weekend and Black Friday, so I have quite a lot of orders to get through. Um, it's actually quite stressful, but hopefully I'll be able to make it work. Now I'm in my studio, ready to start on some work. I suppose it um, might seem a bit messy to some of you but just keeping it real. I work here every day and I make lots of things and it doesn't always look as tidy as I would like. I have this um, this red cat suit that you can see here to make today. So hopefully that will turn out okay. And I will get on with that and update you all later. So now I have finished cutting out the pieces of the katsu. I'm just about to have some lunch. I am having this um, tart from yesterday that has cherry tomatoes, spinach and feta cheese and some salad and hummus. It probably doesn't look that appetising because I've crammed it all on a small plate but it is nice. And I'm also going to procrastinate on my computer for a bit while I'm eating my lunch and then I will get on to sewing the katsu. Here we have all of the pattern pieces cut out and I'm going to go over here to my machines and join them all up. So now it's a bit later on I'm going to get the car from my parents house and I'm going to go to the post office to pick up a delivery that came yesterday that I missed while I was walking the dog and I will also pick up my brother and take him to the supermarket so now we're all in the car and we're going to the supermarket and the post Alan office and, and Charlie is in the back too being very good so I was gone literally like two minutes, I went to pick up these parcels and I left Charlie in the car on his own and he managed to um, set off the car alarm so that was fun, I had to um, run back and make sure that he was okay but luckily it's quite quiet around here and nobody seemed to mind about the car alarm. Did they Charlie? Charlie! Hello! So now we're going to go back to the supermarket and pick up Dimitri and Shakira and drop them off back home and then go back home ourselves and maybe take Charlie for a small walk as well. It's getting quite late now. So back home now and I have a cup of tea and Ziva and um, I've just come back from the post office and today I have received these really cute little bottles that I'm going to put bath salts in for some gift sets and also something else, I'm not quite sure what's in here yet These are actually quite hard to open So in here we have lots of packaging Oh, I've I think I know what this is. I 
Yes, I think this is um, a mould for the bath bombs. So this is one of those plastic baubles, you can push it together and it stays like that. You could put things in it and hang it on the tree but it also works really well as a bath bomb mould. You just put the mixture in here and press it together and it makes quite a tight circle. So that's what we're going to be using for the new bath bombs. again guys it's a bit later on now and Shakira and Dimitri aren't coming in the end but I decided to start on some gift sets by myself and I'm going to be trying out a bath bomb recipe today I'm making these little um, basket gift sets which is kind of like a witchy bath set it has a black candle some black bath salts uh, that I've just been making and also a black handmade soap one of my friends actually made this it smells of eucalyptus and star anise i think and i'm going to be making a bath bomb to complement that so i have eucalyptus and bergamot oil that i'm going to be infusing it with and I have all of my dry ingredients here so I'm just going to mix them up and see how it goes. I found this recipe online, I don't remember exactly uh, where from but I will link it down below in the description bar if you're interested. Okay so I'm going to start by mixing my dry ingredients. First up we have 113 grams of Epsom salt. There you go, into the bowl. Next we have 113 grams of citric acid. Next we have 225 grams of baking soda. be quite lumpy so I like to break up the lumps before I add it to the mixture and next we have 113 grams of corn flour so that goes in there and then we mix them all together Okay, now I'm going to start mixing the wet ingredients. Starting off with three teaspoons of oil. I'm just using a light olive oil here, but you can use whatever oil you prefer. Then we have a teaspoon of water. And then two teaspoons of essential oils. I'm going to use one of each of these. And to finish off, some food colouring. I'm going to use black food colouring because it goes with the theme of my set. Okay, so now comes the fun part. We are now going to mix the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. Now time to give it a whisk. I think that this isn't black enough, so I'm going to add a bit more food colouring. Ok, 
okay so I think we've just about finished with the mixing so I'm going to try and put some mixture into my two halves of the bath bomb and see what happens so you're supposed to really pile on the mixture and then stuff the two sides together and really squeeze them very hard okay maybe not that hard it feels like my ball is going to crack okay so I think this looks sufficiently squidged so then apparently um, you give it a tap and then you pull apart the two halves and hopefully it doesn't disintegrate Oops. I think that was only half a bath bomb so I might have to do that again Check that out, it's so round and smooth. I really love this bath bomb but I think that it is actually a little bit larger than what I expected so I'm not sure if it looks a little bit too big in this gift set with the rest of the items, I don't know. I think I might have to get a smaller mould for it to fit in here but generally I think it would be a great standalone product and I'm really going to enjoy um, using it in my bath tonight. So I've just been thinking about what to do about this gift set and I've been filming the bath bomb up here for quite a while and the dogs are getting really restless so every time I try to film something there's like thunder of them running down the stairs and panting and whining and all of these kind of stuff. I don't know how other YouTubers film with their dogs around but I think they all seem to have like really small really well behaved little dogs that just like sit in the background my dogs are completely the opposite they're ginormous and terrible and very very loud and demanding but anyway back to the gift set so yeah I'm not really sure what to do about this I like all of the products individually but I don't really like how they look inside the gift set and I think that this bath bomb as nice as it is is just too big for this gift set so I'm going to try and change it around maybe get a different box for it maybe add an extra product or try and display it in a different way uh, I don't know let me know in the comments what you think it needs to make it a better gift set so I think I'm going to end the vlog here, I'm getting quite tired now, I'm just going to finish a bit more of that catsuit that I was making earlier, maybe have a cup of tea and then get ready for bed. I hope that you enjoyed watching this vlog, if you did please give it a thumbs up and uh, let me know what you thought in the comments and hopefully I will get a chance to do more of these. So I'll see you later, bye. Oh, 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 oh,